Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us today. This is Jesse Hallworth, Application Engineer for Hawkridge Systems, and in today's video, we'll be taking a quick look at the capabilities of the MarkForged Iger 3D Printing Slicing Software. Now, Iger is a cloud-based software that runs in Google Chrome, which lets you manage your printers and part library from almost anywhere. Within the part library, you can get a preview of your part, including the material that the part is currently set to be printed with. This includes all metal materials for the MarkForge Metal X. To better organize your files, Iger lets you create folders, which can house any part uploaded to Iger. At any point, you can easily filter your library view to show just parts, folders, and builds that have been saved or printed. Multiple users can be part of an Iger account with printers attached to it, and you can easily filter for parts uploaded by any particular user by typing their name in the filters area. Lastly, seeing the printers you own and their current status is as easy as selecting the printer's drop-down menu. Now, Iger is able to accept STL files, meaning that you will not be limited to any particular CAD software for printing. To upload an STL, you can simply click on the Import STL button and navigate to the file of your choice. Once you open your file, the part view of that file is launched. Within the part view, you can navigate with simple mouse controls and change the orientation of your part on the print bed by either moving your mouse over a face and clicking on it, or using the orientation fields for more precise control. In the general area of a part view, you can easily change your material to any material that MarkForge currently uses across any of their printer lines. This includes continuous fiber strands for composite parts. You are also able to easily change the printer category. The settings area lets you set some general options for your part, including layer height and the scale that it prints at. You are also able to control the infill options for your part, which cover the infill pattern, density, and solid wall layers for the entire print. Lastly, with continuous fiber enabled for composite parts, you can control the general fiber fill type, as well as how many layers of fiber will be inside your part. Once all your settings have been changed, you can save the part to your library, which slices it and makes it ready for printing. Slicing requires no input or manual control from the user and is an extremely quick process. When slicing is complete, you have the option of accessing the internal view of your part, where you have more detailed control over some printing options. For composite parts, this means controlling existing fiber groups or creating new ones as needed. This is useful if you would like to reinforce a specific feature, such as a through hole. You can also use the 2D view to see the toolpath of each individual layer, which includes fiber strands if you are looking at a composite part. The 2D view also lets you access the pause after layer function, which is very useful if you would like to print a part with captive hardware. When you are done with configuring your file in either the part or internal view, you can click on print, which takes you to the final build preparation area. Here, you can easily add multiple parts to a build and send the part to a connected printer by making sure it is selected and clicking print. When a part is started, you can easily look at its status and timer rating by loading up Iger. Lastly, Iger makes it easy to keep track of your organization's print history with an included dashboard, which tracks a wide range of metrics. These include items such as total print jobs over a set time frame and how many jobs are submitted per user. You are also able to export any of these metrics to a spreadsheet for your own records. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope this quick overview was informative. If you have any further questions about 3D printing strong and use parts with MarkForge printers, feel free to take a look at some of our other content or contact us if you have any questions.